Hey mom, what's up? Welcome back to The Mom Company, a place where we discuss everything mom likes. I'm Danielle, AKA mom. And in today's video, um, we are going to be styling up some blazers for the spring and summer months. Um, I typically don't really wear blazers in the summer months because it is so hot here in North Carolina, but we're still in spring. And then two days ago, it was like 50 degrees. So I think that is a blazer safe environment. Um, so yeah, I figured I could help out and offer some outfit inspiration using blazers. I recently uh, went to the thrift store and purchased a few blazers, not for this video, but just because I was thrifting. And I always, 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 check the blazer section so of course i found some goodies and i wanted to style them up for you so i guess we can use this video as some inspiration for blazer outfits or blazer looks okay so we're gonna get right into it i figured we would do um this vlog style because i kind of like an informal styling session if you will so let me know if you like this um i love it so yeah um Oh, and where are my manners? If you're new here, if you're a new mom friend, hey girl, hey, welcome to my little corner of the internet. If you're interested in fashion, beauty, and a little bit of business content, maybe some lifestyle too, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss an upload from me. And of course, welcome to the mom friend community. And if you are a returning mom friend, hey girl, hey, welcome back, glad to have you. Leave me some love in the comments. You know how we get down over here let's get into this video okay mom here is the first look and this blazer is from the thrift store as you guys know like 90 percent of my blazers are thrifted um i just they're inexpensive and they look great and the quality is amazing so i prefer to thrift my blazers unless it's just that one special piece that i feel like i have to have but if you want to know more about my blazers go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen and i will link my um, blazer collection video for you since then i've gotten a whole bunch of new blazers so this is going to be my way of updating you on my blazers but anyways i'm rambling um the first style is this cream men's tailored blazer it is by the brand jack i cannot pronounce that last name jack Schick frickhaus Free cloth, I don't know, um, but I've never heard of it. Um, I don't know if it's vintage or not, but it is a beautiful tailored cream blazer with front pockets and gold button uh, detailing. Love that. I love a nice gold button, but it's not a shiny gold. It's more like a brushed gold, and I like that, um, like a flat gold. And of course, I have it paired with like my gold jewelry. Um, this necklace is from the vault label. Um, I believe it's sold out, but if not, I'll let it, I'll link it down below. My earrings are probably coming soon to the vault label. And that's what I'm doing for jewelry, just keeping it really simple. But anyways, what I did was, and what I really like is that I wanted to style this blazer with a dress. And instead of going with an actual dress, I was like, let me get, let me like spice it up a little bit. Let me like throw some edge on it, throw some risque on there. And I decided to go with this long men's button up shirt. And I went to the thrift store and got it yesterday to be exact because I didn't own one this long and I needed it to be longer than the blazer. So it didn't look like I didn't have any pants on, which I don't. <laughs> But if you want to put um, like shorts underneath to feel more comfortable, that's totally acceptable. But what I needed was for this blaze, this shirt to come lower than the blazer. If you can see that, I needed the shirt to come lower. So I, I typically don't size up this big for my button downs, but for this um, specific outfit, I did. And that's how you're gonna get a nice oversized button up dress uh button up shirt dress look um it's in the men's section it's not a tall but i did see some tall ones there so if you are taller than me i'm five five if you're taller than me you can definitely go with like a tall men's button up shirt um and then i have it paired with my zara boots i love these boots down i should have gotten two pair um i should have gotten them in black I say that all the time but like I said earlier in my intro it's still kind of cool like on some days here the other day it was 50 degrees so I was like um it's still boot weather so I thought that this would pair nicely with this outfit this blazer look so we're gonna title this one styling 
your blazer or your oversized blazer with a dress. If I had to grab a bag, I would grab this um, like boho satchel bag. Um, it's very Bottega inspired. I would grab that and kind of just go on my merry little way. It's almost a monochromatic look. Just a whole bunch of nudes, tans, and whites. I love, love that. I know everyone's doing color right now, but sometimes you need to go back to old trusty, right? So that's what we have for that. Here is the second blazer outfit. This is how I would style a blazer with shorts. So I have on these tailored um, leather shorts or faux leather shorts from Zara. This top is actually not a sweater. It's a sweater vest that I thrifted. Um, the brand is White House Black Market. And then of course this blazer is also thrifted and it is this nice, um, check print blazer just something that i feel at this point is a staple in the wardrobe because it's black white you can wear it with black white gray um it's just something it's it's just one of those classic patterns that i feel like everyone every woman should have in a blazer it's giving like men suiting and i like that about it it has this masculine um this masculine quality to it. And I like that and how I paired it with something more feminine like this turtleneck, um, this turtleneck tank top. And then of course the tailored shorts give suiting as well because they are tailored and they're pleated. They're pleated like right in here. It gives a nice tasteful way to wear shorts with your blazer. My shoes are from Zara. Girl, I had to. Zara has been eating me up with the shoes, the shoe options. They've been like killing me. So I got those. Love, love, love the detail. It just, this outfit I think is my favorite because girl, if I was going to a closing, like if I was the agent, I would show up to my closing looking like this. Granted, when I go to my closings, girl, I'll be looking like a slob kebab sometimes. I don't care. I'm going to collect the check. But... <laughs> Um, besides that, like if I really wanted to put in effort, all I can think about, oh, is this is, this is how I would show up to my closing because it's just so casual. It's appropriate for spring because of the shorts and then you don't get too overheated because it's a tank top underneath. And then if you need it to take off your, off your blazer, you still like the two pieces still work together. I, I love this. Oh, this bag is from Shein. Um, do not recommend <laughs> I do not recommend this bag but that's where it's from if you're interested in it I'll still link it down below but it's just I'm sure there's better dupes out there than this one this was one of the first dupes to ever come on the market for the Bottega Mini Jody and I snatched it up but since then there's been so many dupes to come to come on the market that this one is just not it but anyways that's what I have on and I absolutely love this look you guys let me know in the comment which one of these is going to be your favorite okay okay this is the third blazer look um excuse my neighbors girl they are cutting the grass they are so loud why are they cutting the grass knowing i'm recording they don't know i'm recording but anyways <laughs> they're cutting the grass so if you hear something that's what that is um but anyways this is our third look here and this is a linen thrifted blazer when i tell you this is goody good goodness this is goody good goodness um what i did was i paired it with some boxer shorts some more casual boxer shorts i feel like it's easy to pair any blazer with a pair of denim shorts so instead of pairing it with denim shorts i chose to pair it with something that is not denim um and i really love this because the gold tone i love how that plays nicely with the color of the blazer and then i have it belted with this thrifted belt um it's by the brand carlisle which i believe is actually a vintage uh vintage clothing line so i love this i love how it mixes the metals so i, I chose to pair that with that and it's the perfect size for belting now i'm gonna be honest with you guys i am not a belted blazer type of girl 
Um, I feel like it restricts my movement of my arms. I feel like I can't, I don't have my full range of motion. So if you are gonna belt a blazer, I do recommend, recommend like sizing all the way up on your blazer so that you do have that range of motion in your arms. Um, I also chose to wear these kitten heels because girl, <laughs> She is a kitten heel girl now. You cannot tell her that she can't wear a kitten heel. Um, these are from Zara. They're like a buttercream color. So they play nicely with the cream tones of the blazer. This right here reminds me of a vintage mommy going to dinner, um, like an early dinner. I don't know, I love this look, it reminds me of New York for some reason. Vintage 90s New York. I love this, and y'all know I love my hometown, so. Hmm. Compared to the last short style, I think this is a more outside of work, or more uh, a less professional, more casual way of styling your blazer. I wouldn't necessarily wear this to work, um, depending on where you work, but I wouldn't wear this to work. I would wear the other short set if I was allowed to wear shorts to work. I would I would pick that one over this one. Um, but I just really like the belted look, and I think what I'm in love with is just the embellishment on the belt. I think it's stunning. Oh, underneath I have this lace um, cami from Zara. I got it like two years ago, and to be honest, this is the first time I'm wearing it because... I don't know, I think I was a little overweight <laughs> two years ago. I think I was a little thick. So I was uncomfortable in it, but now, you know, I've lost a little weight, so I feel more comfortable, and I feel more comfortable belting this blazer. So this is look number three. All right, so this is blazer number four. I, of course, thrifted it from the thrift store. It was actually part of a suit. I couldn't fit the bottom, so I left the bottoms there. Um, but I wish I could have fit the bottoms because this color is something special, baby. It's like a switch color. Like it switches from blackish to um, like a split pea green color. And it gives it like a nice metallic look to it without it being metallic. I absolutely love it. I had to have it. Um, it doesn't fit oversized, it fits just right. It's not too tight at all. It's perfect, it's not a boxy blazer. It's more like a tuxedo type style blazer and I like that because I am playing it down with a graphic t-shirt and I feel like that's how you make your more dressy blazers more casual. It's just to add something casual to it, whether it's a denim or whether it's a graphic tee in this case, whether it's a slouchy tank top, it kinda just, makes everything more casual, casualized. Is that is that a word, casualized? I, I don't know, but it makes it more casual. And then I have it paired with um, the Zara tailored shorts. They're almost like a paper bag short, but not really. They don't have that belt or that elastic band to it. So I like that because paper bag shorts look horrible on me. And I have it paired with my Sam Edelman mules. These are like my Gucci Prince Down Mules um, dupe. I love them. I've worn, I've had them for like four years. Absolutely love them. They're in great condition. I want to say they're leather. I'm carrying this bag, this pouch bag that I thrifted. No, I didn't thrift it. Girl, you don't thrift everything. I'm carrying it with this pouch that I got from Belk. And it's a nice Bottega dupe. I love this pouch i didn't think i would love it as much as i do um so yeah that's what i'm wearing with this blazer so this is going to be our casual graphic tee styling of a blazer this is our fifth blazer look it is definitely a play or a spin on the canadian tuxedo if you're not familiar with the canadian tuxedo it is an all denim look denim top denim bottom and what have you so I chose to kind of break it up a little bit and add this nice little cute detailed um, Zara it's a huge bib tank top like it's got a bib and it's a tank top so I added that underneath because I do like the sparkle and back to the blazer the blazer is a denim blazer it's by Ralph Lauren I thrifted it from the thrift store about four years ago and I absolutely love it. 
I don't think I've ever seen a denim blazer since I found this one, so I knew it was a gem. And I paired it with these thrifted Old Navy denim jeans. They, they are a mom fit jean, so they come pretty high. Um, I would say it's right at my belly button. So I love that. And then I tucked in this Zara tank top with the enlarged bib or with the oversized bib. And it has that cute little button detail on it. Excuse me, I'm like trying to adjust my bra because my bra comes up and I hate that. Like this is clearly not the right bra for this shirt. Um, but anyways, I have it with my Zara heels. These are so special to me. I told y'all Zara has me in a choke hold with the dang on shoes and it has like a really comfortable pyramid heel. I don't know if you can see that. But I just love like an all denim look with a pop of color, specifically a pastel pop of color. I just like like the pink and the blue. I love this. Um, I just love how casually dressed up or casually extra this look is and this blazer is very lightweight so it's perfect for spring and summer if you want it to wear it in the warmer months honestly i only wear it in the spring and summer it's definitely a lighter denim color so you know lighter denim is typically worn in spring and summer but yeah this is the look it is not too oversized it actually fits like a glove it fits perfect like it's not too small not too big and it kind of like curves in at the waist i love that um i'm a fan so that is my dear the last oh i have it with my coach i don't know what this bag is called but it's just a pink coach bag with the top handle there is a crossbody option i do have the strap inside of here so i could wear it crossbody if i wanted to um if you didn't want to put the heels with this outfit you can put it with some flats totally up to you but i love the star of the show which is this blazer this blazer is all that plus more Okay, mom, that is all that I have for my blazer style video. I hope that you can find some inspiration from these looks. I hope that you are inspired to go to the thrift store or go to the store, get you a nice lightweight blazer for summer and spring, and go ahead and style it up however you feel comfortable. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.